back. I'm meteorologist Sydney Daniel filling in for Chief Meteorologist uh, Lee Solomon. Here's a live look atop the Monterey Portola Hotel and Spa. Still plenty of sun out there, and we're looking at temperature changes right now everywhere. Still about 5 to 10 degrees uh, above this time yesterday, uh, very warm and the warmth is going to continue. So we do have a heat advisory again in place in the inland area, seeing that excessive heat warning for the inland parts of California. And with that, I did want to bring up here and show you the drought monitor. So this is compared to this time last year. As you can see, we got a lot of rainfall um, in the winter of last year. And this past, uh, past winter, we did get a fair amount, but still a lot of dry conditions in place, especially for the northern half of California. So as we go into the coming days, we're going to still be seeing a lot of that heat. But first, let's recap what we saw today. And how hot did it get? Well, we saw a lot of 90s out there. 98 in Ben Lomond, 95 in Felton, 96 in Gilroy, 102 in Hollister, and some more 90s the further we went south. 97 in King City, so 97 in Greenfield. Along the coast, we saw a little bit of relief. 82 in Monterey, 73 Pacific Grove, 73 in Carmel, and 88 down in Big Sur. Now tomorrow, temperatures inching up just a degree or two more. Now there is activity out there, it's just not right over our head. So here's our satellite imagery and you can see a system just over the Pacific Northwest. Now it's not gonna move south, we have high pressure in place and it's really taking its time moving eastward. And I'll show you that here with our future cast. Now this is a surface temperature map and you can see Here's that ridge of high pressure. I put it into motion. As we go into Tuesday, it sticks around and you can see temperatures still warm up. It isn't until we get into the later half of this week and into the weekend that we start seeing a little bit more relief, especially in those inland areas. And getting into the beginning parts of next week, we could see a little bit of wind pick up, which we'll con be continuing to watch. But your forecast for tonight, clear, mild temps. We're really going to see temperatures stay on the relatively warmer side in the inland areas right around that 60 degree mark. So not a lot of relief in the inland areas. So you can see that uh, represented here, 59 still in Salinas, 64 down in Soledad. And tomorrow, warmth early along the coast, still sunny, but you know, if you're gonna have um, any time to go outside and kind of get some exercise, I do recommend doing that in the early morning hours because with that sun, once it rises, things are gonna heat up very quickly. So here's a look across the area. You see more triple digits than what we saw today. So that is to be expected. And here's a look at your eight day forecast. So along the coast, a little bit of relief, but still warmer tomorrow than what we saw today. Uh, and then when we look towards the inland areas, we're seeing that triple digit heat and we'll start seeing that relief as we get into the later half of the week and into the weekend, Erin. All right, mm -hmm. our weather quiz.